Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode here on Swan Survival Aquatic. So what are we doing today? Well, we're standing on top of our pyramid. Our beacon. We finally got enough gold to fill it. Um, I'm actually lying because there's iron inside. <laughs> Anyways, um, today we've been working on a lot of projects. In fact, we've done a lot since our last video where you saw us putting together the slime grinders as well as doing a mining session with Denali. And we are out here outside and you can see we've been doing some work. Yes. Um, not sure if this will remain here. We'll probably you know, move things around, but we're digging down underneath. So I wanted it there. So the first thing that we did is we started by putting an edge to this building here with the water. We took the water back. We put um, upside down stairs. You can see it coming in with some lighting that is intermittent to start uh, the edge of that build. We started putting together a path here using our andesite and cobble pattern and then building up these covered paths. And on the outside of them, um, we've started our similar design to what we have on our bridge. So we've got some work to do. We're gonna uh, we've got to redo some of the top here because I kind of want to keep the same style throughout. Um, and then we got to put some ridges up and things like that. Uh, so we are working on that, including um, over here as the sun sets and goes through our beautiful archway here. Let's see, and almost in the middle. Ta-da! It is in the middle. <laughs> Let's get a screenshot. All right, um, but what we have also done is we built up a first bridge here. And the reason is, is if you recall, uh, we're going to be expanding our lake this direction a little bit more. And so I want some water flowing, large falls flowing down through here and into that little bay and we'll course it here under the bridge around that pillar. So I think that'll look really nice. And then of course we can bring the path over this way and we can put some structures over here because we just don't want these paths everywhere. Uh, in fact, uh, we will be placing a rather large structure right here and another structure out into here. Um, and we gotta build up some trees for landscaping. We got lots of work. Yeah. Uh, and then of course, this way we've connected it, if we come this way, to our portal room. So we'll have some quick stairs down. There's the portal room. And here comes down here to the quay. So, you know, we'll link this up, uh, widen this out, make sure that we get a nice design. Um, so we've done all of that. Also, if we come down here to our build area. So right now we've got, of course, our work area here with storage, our uh, smelter, farms, all of that going on. We go ahead, went ahead and dug the tunnel out all the way to the other side of the island there. Uh, so we're going to be using this and we're actually going to repurpose all of this to part of the city build later. Uh, and then we've been working down here. Oh, so many things going on. Digging galore. Look at that. This is going to be a grand hall. We're going to take it that way, probably just as far. Uh, and dig it out. So this will be a large hall. And then where you see I've dug out these little spaces here, I'm marking those for our mass auto storage. Now you might recall if you've seen the video, when we put together our auto storage, I was talking about making a large storage system, all auto, that could house almost any block. So in order to do that, we need space. So for example, um, and I'll show you in a moment, here is the beginning of an auto sorting hall. Now this is just half. So right here where this dip is, there's gonna be, this is where the chests would line. This is 20 chests long. 
and there'll be another set here once we dig this out. So that's 40 chests in this hallway that'll be connected to an auto sorter. And the reason we need 40, and I'll give you an example. In fact, let's come back over here really quick. It's gonna be a big project, obviously, long term, but I wanted to get it started and digging it out's fine because we've got the beacons, we've got haste, as you can see the icon in the top right. Uh, and then we also, we need the stone. So it just works out. But the reason I chose 20 chests on each side, we just had a crash there, <laughs> is that if we look at, for example, our terracotta, we have 40 block types total from terracotta. It's our clay, block clay, our bricks that come from clay, and then of course you can bake clay into terracotta, make the colored terracottas, and then make the glazed terracottas. So that's 40. And when I counted up things like other block types, like the nether block types, the end stone or end dimension block types, the to do aqua block types, you know, prismarine, underwater, to sea temple stuff. Every single one of them had around 40 different block types when you include the mob drops or miscellaneous items that can be created. And so I figured, all right, well, if I create a bunch of halls like that one that come along this great hall that have 40 chests in each, then I can create hall types. So, for example, I could have this one, the, you know, terracotta hall. You know this one the uh, nether hall and so on and it can all be linked up to an auto sort so I've been collecting a lot of iron obviously because we're gonna need bazillions of hoppers for all of this I've got enough redstone no problem there uh, and we've got enough wood for chests and everything it's just a matter of hoppers and digging all of this out on both sides in fact and then I also have another project going on kind of a tour today if we come over here we have the bay underneath our bridge up there I've got a conduit set up right here so we can breathe and look at this we are digging out a large area here and we've covered it with glass why are we digging it out you ask well it's because of what's under it let's come take a look if I come right over here and I come down this stairwell. And pop over here. We have something special. Oops. If I can get out. We have our slime farm. We have completed the slime farm. We can probably put one more layer. Now because we can go up to Y40. But there it is. All the different levels. We've got all of our IGs over here to attract them. Uh, I put these magma blocks on the edge so that sometimes when the slimes jump the gap, because even though it's four wide, they can still jump it occasionally and they get stuck there. So they'll still burn to death and die. Uh, and then we've got a little AFK pool just sitting here on the end because the slime chunks are really on the far end over there. And right here is the perfect distance to grab that on all levels. So, and we are collecting slimes. We've got stacks and stacks of slimes, slime balls. And of course our glass is right there. So we're gonna dig this out and this will be open to the ocean above. It'll look really cool. So yeah, that's a lot of projects we've been doing. <laughs> um, but that's what we're working on. And right now we're working outside, um, doing a little bit of build up there. And then we've got some other projects going on as well. So I'm going to continue working on some of that. Uh, I will keep you updated. And yeah, we'll be back. So we'll see you in a bit. Hello, and we are back. So we've been doing a lot of work. So if we take a look out here really quick, you can see that we have our roof over our bridge and causeways. Yes. So let's run over here. I'm purposely not looking up because there's something behind me. Um, so yeah, we put in this little nice tower structure. 
underneath we've got lighting and strategic areas uh, same thing over there we've got the tower coming up uh, along our path and then our bridge we've got the three towers here above our pillars with some strategic lighting this lighting should keep anything from spawning now of course what else have we been working on besides uh, this zombie I'm trying to hide I want to look at zombie you're not helping me oh yeah. light on fire. thank you you're so kind all right the other thing we've worked on is our main structure over here ta-da we have pretty much completed it except for the mountain on top oh are you excited you're thrilled about the building well, i don't think that zombie was as thrilled as you know he thought he was so obviously we've got, you know, lighting issues outside of our pathways, which we'll work on. But inside, we have completed the entire ceiling. That looks pretty awesome. So we did come down, like we had mentioned several videos ago when we were building the pillars, and bring the center down in the middle. So when you look at it, you can see that we've got a real nice design here. Took a while to figure this out, get it all set up. Obviously, we've got to design our back wall. We've got to come out here. We've got the top, but I want to put down uh, some accents along the edge here on the front. Remove the cobble. <laughs> and same thing here, put a railing along the waterway. But overall, this looks awesome. And of course, we gotta do our floor. I mean, we've got the portion around the pillars. Hey, we missed a spot there. Uh, we want fire coral. Oop. Any others? Yes, this pillar here. Okay, cool. Yes, you don't see that grass down there. There's no such thing as grass inside a building. Ta da! <laughs> Alright, cool. So, yeah, we got to dig out our floor, put in a pattern. Uh, we've got to design the back wall and then put our accent edge around the very outside here. Uh, of course, we'll have to build up our edges. Remember, we're going to put water coming out of it and down into the bay on both sides. Uh, and then we've got to decide what to do out here as well. So I continued the accent edge over to the there. I might put a couple archway doorways into the building that come out this direction. Maybe a path that'll come out to a tower here uh, because eventually I want to build some stuff out there on these little islands. Uh, and I do want to build a main bridge actually. that goes from here over to the mainland over there just like we did on the far side. So we can get to that mainland as well uh, and then yeah so a lot of work a lot of hours went into this today but I really like the way it has come out um, and it's definitely you know making progress uh, of course a big project if we come up here next to our beacon will be to do the top so you know what we want, the original design, is that this is built into the mountain. So I want to build this mountain up, kind of like this. So it comes up and over. So it looks like that this was just carved right out of the mountain. And then we might put a tower or something on top of the mountain because I'm thinking in our concept art we had a really high tower. I might put it on top of this. Not sure yet because I'm also thinking of putting it on that. But we'll see. Hey, look at there, we've got a bunch of creepers. We'll have to watch that so they don't blow anything up. But anyways, happy about the project, happy about the success of how far we have come. Uh, definitely uh, really lightens this up. And of course, somewhere over here, we need an entrance going down to our bridge that comes in down there. 
I'm thinking bold move to think I actually might cut the roof off here and begin just a stairwell that cuts in right here it would probably come up if I could make it so it comes up even with these pillars that would actually be pretty good so in fact uh, really quick just so we can get a quick look if the stair started here let's see where this would take us my work I leave that open where's our path dun, dun, dun. Oh, and I'm not even gonna have to take out the roof so that's awesome that would be perfect it can just go right up right there so Woohoo! hey progress already right uh, quick decision made here we'll just carve this out really quick uh, let's see if we can carve that obviously I have to put the walls in put stairs in all that good jazz so we'll have a little bit there that we can carve out of the roof. We'll probably make it match the stairway uh, that comes into our bridge from the portal room. Um, that's a simple, easy design. Looks good. We'll complement all of this. Alright, almost. My inventory must be full. I don't think I'm picking up everything. And there. Perfect. Now at least we can travel. All right, everybody. So that completes uh, our project for today. Uh, I appreciate you guys joining me. I uh, hope you like the build design that uh, I've come up with, especially with the ceiling there behind me. I think it looks awesome. And of course, we've got our pathways over there that we are linking in. Uh, so it's coming a long way. So thank you very much for watching. And as always, remember, it's a game. Have fun.